My name is Luis Mañez. I work as a chief architect for Care People and I'm an office dev MVP. So you can see there are my uh, social network. So just feel free to pin me if you have, if you have any questions. So let's jump into the sample. The samples have been already merged and is available into the GitHub repo. So we have a React Outlook add to do task sample on there. And um, well, it's uh, documented on how you can uh, install and use it and so on. So just uh, feel free to take a look. And um, well, let's see. It. Let's see it actually in in action. So if we go to the Outlook, this is an SPFX uh, deploy as an Outlook admin. And the idea is that we're gonna create um, different tasks in the in the to do app from an email. And well, as you likely know, a um, couple of months ago in latest build, uh, Microsoft released the preview of the to do endpoint. So you can create tasks and so on in the in the to-do app. And when I'm saying the to-do app is this one, not related with planner or or upload task. This is the uh, to-do. So there's an API, there's an endpoint now in the graph API. So we can uh, create lists and tasks from, from here using the graph API. So the thing is that when you see no look, um, maybe you know that there's a flag Functionality and there's an integration. There's already an integration between Outlook and and the to do application. But if we flag an email, um, at some point it's gonna end up into this list uh, flag email. It's gonna take maybe one or two minutes. But um, after, yeah, you can see here. So um, it's creating a tag in the flag email list and with some info like the title from uh, the subject and so on. So that's cool, but I thought it'd be a good idea maybe if you can select the list that you want to use for creating the task or maybe even uh, update the title for before creating the task. So um, what I did is I created an SPFX um, web part deployed as, a, as an Outlook adding. So here you can see there's a to do PNP. The adding is getting the different uh, list that I have in my in my to do app. So there's a to read later community task and flag email. So as you can see here in this email, I have a bunch of different links that I have to review. So let's send it to the uh, to read later um, list. And then I can change the, the title. In this case, I'm uh, getting the title from the subject on the email. So let's create a task. The task has been created. We can link here to open the, the to do app that is already open. And let's do another test. So in this email, it's going to do the same. But in this case, we're going to use a different uh, list. Let's say the community one. and Let's gonna update the title and create a task. And now, if we go to the to do app at some point, uh, let's refresh because, as I said, it takes one or two minutes maybe. But it's, yeah, you can see there's the new task creating using the uh, using the subject from the email as as title and the one that we send to the to the community. So uh, from Outlook directly, we can select the a list and we can edit the title if, if we want. So uh, before diving into uh, the source code, let's take a look to the to the different actions that we can do in the to do endpoint. Because actually, um, this is a still in preview. It was from latest beer, so it's not very well documented yes, yet, to be honest. So um, let's take a quick look. Um, we have a to-do endpoint uh, here. So if we call the, the list in the in the to-do endpoint, if my access token is still valid, and it is, yeah. So we are getting the list of the different lists that we have in the in the to-do application, the flag emails, task, community, and to read later. And to get the task of a specific list, you have to call 
the same to do endpoint list and specifying the ID of the of the list and then the task actions. So if we send this, we are getting um, this list was the read later. So we have just a um, couple of tasks as you can see here. And if we want to create a task in the in a specific list, then we need to do a post request to this specific uh, list ID and the task action. And in the body, we need to specify some, some JSON. I'm using these fields. There are much more that you can specify, and the ones are um, documented. Um, so, as you can see here, this is the, the preview documentation from the graph, and there's a to-do task in, in preview. But most of the links are actually redirecting to the Outlook, because I guess they are sharing some resources. So in order to create a task, actually it's the, the same object that when you create an Outlook, an Outlook task. So I'm setting some, some JSON, and if you post it, uh, you're going to create one in the in the list is created and should be and should be there. So this is how the the endpoint work, and this is basically the different calls that I'm doing in the in the web part. So if we jump into the source code, not in Visual Studio, sorry. Um, there's an SPFX um, create as web part. And in the on init, I'm getting the, the graph client from the graph client factory because the client, the graph client is the one that you need to, to call graph. So uh, when we get the client, we resolve the promise. And in the render method, we are um, calling the get contest function. And this function is the one that is um, checking if we are in Outlook or not. Because obviously this is an SPFS web part, so it's gonna work in in SharePoint, and we can see it uh, later. But if we are in in Outlook, um, we can get the the message entity uh, from the from the context. So I'm getting the mailbox item, and then I can get some properties like the ID, the subject, the from and to uh, email addresses, and some other information. We can also get the the body of the of the email. So here, you can do quite interesting things. So for instance, instead of creating the uh, task just using the the subject, maybe you can call the Azure Cognitive Services and extract uh, different tags from the body of the email, and you can use the tags later for for creating the task and and things like that. So. Um, you can do quite interesting things on on here. In this case, I'm just getting the the subject of the of the email, and then we are sending that custom create task context to a create task React component. So if we take a quick look to the create task React component, uh, basically initially we are uh, setting the title of the of the task from the uh, from the context. And if we have the subject from the email, we set it to that value. Otherwise, we just set a, a default value. And then we have the uh, get to do list method. So we are calling the lists uh, action in the in the to do endpoint to get the different list in the in the drop down. So I can select the the list where I want to create the task. And um, then we have um, well some some render code. There's nothing interesting on here. And there's another method that is the one that we create the task when we already selected the uh, list that we want to use and we have the, the title from the from the email subject or because we updated it. And then we just do a post request using the list ID that is coming from the dropdown. And then we are setting the JSON body as we just saw in, in Postman, sending the request and then the task is is created. As I said, as an SPFS web part, this can also obviously work in a in a SharePoint page. So you can see it here in action. Obviously, we don't have an email here, so the title is the um, um, just a, a constant. So we can see in here. And the task is is created, so it works also in uh, SharePoint and obviously in Teams if you if you deploy it. 
about the deployment, by the way, as this is an, an outlook adding, and there's a couple of extra things. There's um, great documentation from Microsoft explaining how you can do it, but just in a uh, in summary, what you need to do is first you need to deploy the SP package to the app catalog, as with any other SPFX uh, solution, uh, tenant deployment, and then later you need to uh, edit a file that is here in this office adding. So this is the, the XML, the manifest for the Outlook adding, and here you need to update some values. You, you have to replace some tokens, for instance, the component ID with your web bar, web bar ID and some others. It's really well documented in, in Microsoft, but just to take a quick look. And once you have the, the XML, you just need to go back to Outlook. And you can go here, you can say uh, get add-ins. And you can go, here is my add-in already deployed, but you can say here add a custom add-in from file. You can select your XML file, and then it's already deployed and available. So when you select an email, you have uh, available the, the option from your add-in on, on here. So this is basically how you can deploy it as a as an Outlook adding. So um, I think that's all from, from my side. Feel free to um, leave any question on, on the chat and download the sample and, and whatever. That's all from my side. Fantastic. Thank you very much uh, for that great demo on tasks.